seeing if I'm going live. Oh, right when I said it. Oh, right when I said it. Cool. Hey, this is Dan, first person looter, starting a new thing here where um, I title these videos FPL plays and have that in my thumbnail because uh, there's me checking the stream. Um, because yes, I am Dan, but I guess I should brand this channel a bit more. And Dan is a common name, but FPL, I think that would be easier to search for. Um, so I took a look at some of my, some of the footage from my previous playthroughs, the last two videos, and it's frustrating to see myself missing so many things that once they were obvious to me, it's like, why didn't, why wasn't it obvious earlier? The, the big example that I have is merging two gunpowders to turn it into bullets. I do that in that sort of side room, upper floor side room of the library where the second statue is. Um, first of all, there's a map that was right there that I get later on, but I walked right past it several times and I didn't see it. And I picked up gunpowder and I was messing with it. It's in the video. I don't know if this is video one or two. And I'm trying to see what I can do with it. And I do merge it with other gunpowder, but it turns into bullets. But I don't really know what I saw. And I'm like, what? What? What happened with the with the gunpowder? I don't know. And I just and I moved along. Uh, the other major example is I'm looking at the map, and I say, what do the red rooms mean? And the red and blue is right there at the bottom of the map. It says right there. And I eventually, I find that out too. I, I see it. I see it later on, but so much later. I, I don't know what it is where in the normal world I am pretty darn perceptive. I, I have a very good sense of direction. Um... And I notice things like I have very good eyesight. I don't mean to sound well. No, no I'm not going to go there. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I was trying to avoid going, where I was trying to avoid going. But um, it just it all falls out the window sometimes in these games. I don't know what it is. I just I don't notice the things that I should notice. I, I don't I don't know what it is. Um, so hopefully I'm going to get better. I think there was also a thing that's the, um, living in an apartment and neighbors can be distracting. Maybe I'm just, um, putting the blame elsewhere, but there was a couple of in-room distractions and, uh, I don't know. My brain was going to mush. I am in quarantine. There is the coronavirus. That is happening right now, so that could be something. But let's put the excuses aside. Let's put them in the storage box. <laughs> the e Resident Evil storage box. And let's... Let's see if we can... More. Okay, let's see if we can do any better in this second playthrough. Again, I was thinking that maybe in these other videos I'd bring the camera down, but I've already done two of them where it's up in that corner, so that's where it's going to be. And I see a tiny little thing right there. Boop. I assume that's the end of the letter Y. I assume that says play right there. Because you can see on the PlayStation Store, the Y kind of kind of curves. Oh, in this direction it goes like that. It kind of curves like that. So I think this is the last little whoop, whoop, whoop. And I wish the camera could zoom in on my face, but it doesn't. I actually, the, the way I could get as close as I am now is I stood on my back wall there, which is another couch width away. I could fit another one of these couches behind this couch and I just put my head up against that wall and I had the camera try to find my face and that's how far it zoomed in. So that was even, you know, that's even further away. So after it set for my face way back there, I came here and this is as close as I can get. If I'm in the circle, it cuts out even smaller, but that's, and so it, it just shows, it shows less of my surroundings, but I'm not closer. And the PlayStation camera is on top of my 55-inch 4K LG television. So, um, I don't have a stand where I can bring it. There's no tables here. 
Um, I could probably bring something, but I don't know where I'd want to... Oh, right, one costumes was one of the things that I loaded, but we're going to play original. And I'm still hoping... Because I think in this video I'm going to go ahead and try that statue. I'm hoping that we stay in here at least long enough for me to find out what was in those rooms I have yet to explore at all. And getting into uh, the other safe that I haven't gotten into. And um, just a couple things that I haven't gotten. Oh, and one of the things I had this idea, I'm going to take this red book... Before I do the statue, the, the one thing I want to do before I do this female statue here is I'm going to go to the storage art room and see if the book fits in the statue's hand. That was an idea that I had. I know the statue is made of stone or marble, and this book is made of wood, but <clears throat> it's just an idea that I had this morning. I'm giving it a try. Hmm? Oh, I took I just took the hand. I saw it in my uh com oh combine. Oh Oh, so that worked. Is that what I can use for the crankshaft? As a crankshaft? Well, look at that. Getting a little bit of sleep paid off. How about that? Where I don't even remember where I originally found the book. Was it here? Was it on this desk? No, there was like an art pamphlet there. And the hand was on the table. I don't remember where I found the book. Let's see if that's what I need for this. Or if I really am looking for that official tool that's pictured on the bottom. That crank shaft to shaft no the oh that also reminds me the other thing that I had realized was that um, I'm not examining things I'm not looping them around um, you know I found that mysterious electronic device and I stored it away and I, I didn't even look at it when I found that little 9-volt um, battery, I immediately, instinctively knew that it had to be for that electronic device. I could have been wrong, but I was right. But I wonder if I would have known to be on the lookout for a battery um, if I searched, if I rotated the mysterious device. I wonder if it would have shown an empty battery compartment or something. So I just want to have a look at it. Oh, there's the X button. Okay, so maybe you can do something with it. Oh. Wait, so now... Well, I don't like that. I wanted to use the handle on it. Oh, no, I tried already, right? Yes, I already tried. Of course I did. Already, my brain is going to mush. So we got the jewel. Um, there's like jewels in the sh shields there. What else I can do? So I run and then I immediately stop it. The ruby that captivated Edward. The black diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the. 
It once adorned a noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. So I'm wondering... If there's a guillotine somewhere that I should go to, is that a clue? Or a jeweled box, a noblewoman? A noblewoman's jeweled box, so is that the woman in the statue on the other side of the library? Is it the woman here? I mean, it, holding the flag? I don't think so. In the pictures, it looked like an ar you know, a red thing was inside of each of these shields, but that's just where the... Um, that's where the... What do you call it? Little disc things that I got went. Can I do anything with this now? Can I use this now for something? No. just want to see if so she still exists thought I heard a zombie growl is there something in here now that it exploded no There's a mirror, and if I if I can put it on anything, there would be an X, right? There would be a button to tell me to interact. So I don't see how this is allowing me to interact. Maybe it will come in handy later on in the tunnel that I go to, or maybe we don't even get into the tunnel yet. I'm just worried that once I go into the tunnel, I'm going to move to another location. And I won't be able to come back and find out what's going on with this dial lock. Or what's this? The PC. I still need to find the USB drive. That's the... that's... yeah, so that's... Right. That's the second floor. They're safe. I don't know how to get to. I don't know how to get into any of these rooms. If I go to the third floor, there are these. I, I haven't even been on the, on the third floor. I kind of had. Let's um. That's blocked, right? So how do how would I get in here? If it's blocked, how do I get to this door? I think I'd have to approach. I think when you finally get to this area, it's coming from these stairs. And then you'll get to these rooms, and then you'll be able to come back into these rooms from the other way around. Because I can't get to this door, because it won't let me jump the gap. And there's a hole here. I don't know why they don't have a hole here. Um. Oh, dialogue. That dial. That's the. Uh, I was wondering which lock it was. It's the on the the locker. So I assume these steps here get you to these steps, or technically these steps here. So I need to get through this locked door. I need to get the crank handle in order to get to these steps, which would take me to this section of the third floor. And I can't get to the steps here. 
Once I get this crankshaft, I can go downstairs and get to the interrogation room and the observation room, or I can go upstairs to these places. I I'm guessing that's what it is. And, that and then I'll be able to get to the break room. All of these things I'm going to get to once I open up this crank handle slot. But how do I get the crank handle? Maybe it's... Maybe it's in the statue. Maybe I'm wasting my time. I just need to open the damn statue. The more I spoke that out, the more convinced I am that that path is not going to be um, simply this. I'm going to go down, question mark. That's probably a big question mark. I'm Come up ladder, parking way out. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, fairly certain it's not going to be that easy. And if it is, and I don't come back here, then I guess that's work for a second playthrough. I haven't found a photograph to use for the uh, photo room. Am I missing that? goes underground. Huh. That's it. That's our way out. Lieutenant Branna! Marvin! It's time to go. Hey, Marvin. <laughs> we need to get you to a hospital right now. No, no, I... Uh, save yourself. Come on, I've got you. Go! Look, we can still make it out of here together. Just can... It's too late. I tried, Leon. But I couldn't stop it. We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. Just go! Don't kill yourself. I understand. Oh no. No. I won't let you down, Marvin. That would have been been a good ending to my trophy earned path to the goddess. Well, I must come back. Come on. Oh man, I can't believe I missed missed things. See? Why is this thing in this storage room? Oh, that's all that I tried to reload again. That's interesting. All right, we'll create a new. I'm trying to create sl safe slots in each each typewriter location. It's going to be its own safe slot, and every time I go back, I'm just going to resave over that particular location's safe slot. So, are there clues that like water fountain goblet? The horsey, the lion. Oh. Don't have that tool. Anything else behind the desk that I might have missed?
Wait, well, well, I thought there was a X like on the door, but I think it's for this button here. Okay. Examining. I'm trying to examine everything, man. Loading screen. Oh, lovely. Oh, okay. I thought it locked me here. I have to be able to get back there. It's it's a it's a typewriter loader. I'm trying to look down on the floor before I actually go down there. Before my feet hit that floor. They're not going to send anyone out yet. They're just going to make me wait for a scary thing to happen. They they're building tension. All you need to do is set up a dark room, and that builds tension. And they don't have to animate any... <laughs> they don't have to animate anybody. They can just let me be scared and let my imagination... I don't know why I keep thinking the jewel's gonna do anything. <laughs> And I keep thinking, whatever the details are, I know it's for what's highlighted, but I automatically think that that text down there on the bottom right corner is describing what it is that I'm looking at. But And maybe the description is behind my picture, my camera. I don't know. Oh. God, what the hell am I going to need a hand grenade for? Oh, wait, I didn't read that. That's fine. Is it one of these things? Hold on. Yep. Got it. I got it. Don't you worry about it. Wow, so the puzzles, the puzzles just start immediately. Hmm. Can I just hit it? The lock looks like you can just open it. What is even in that? Are those guns? They look like... Yeah, they, with a with a tack. What do you call it? A tack thing on the on the top so you can attach red dots or whatever sights you want to put on them tack rail that's what they're called right so something is it maybe the game wants you to come back oh oh when the hell did this open so freaking unable to just making sure the player understands that it's not safe down here. But they're still going to make me wait it out, sweat it out, and be scared. Leon, why are you so heavy-footed? Tiptoe. Clunk. Ka-dunk. 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 Trying to look between behind every corner. Oh, God, I wish I could turn faster. What? I've said this in older videos that with the mouse... To look from here to there. How long is that? One Mississippi. Two. Mi almost two seconds. To uh, with my mouse, I can just whoosh, 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 and look really fast. And I've uh, that's been one of the biggest things that I hate about using controllers. 
Oh. Smack my smack my expensive microphone. Um yeah, don't like that. When I want to check my surroundings quick cuz if nobody's there, somebody could be right there and they might be after me. And if people are stumbling around, it's a lot easier to quickly aim and get them and here I got to since my movement isn't as fast as I'd like, that's why a lot of the times I let the zombie's head sort of wade, wad into my crosshairs. I sort of figure out where they, where their head movement is going, get my crosshair at a point where I've seen their head pass, and then wait for it to pass over it again. Anyway. Like Freddy Krueger is going to be down here. <laughs> you are what you eat. You are what you eat is Freddy Krueger, but not from not from that scene. Looks like me. Get out of here. I don't want to waste my ammo, so I really want to be sure that I got to shoot that eye. Duck out of the way. Or maybe I'm supposed to shoot him in the head. I guess I was supposed to shoot him in the head. Well, that wasted a lot of pistol ammo. Somebody's watching me. Thought I was shoved into a plant. How did I get here? Oh, here, here it is. Could I just use it? Just, I don't want to equip it. I just want to take it and use it immediately. I thought that was a landmine. Oh, good. All right. Need it. I can't reload my shotgun? I thought I still had some... Hmm. Oh, because I, I already reloaded once. Fine. Is 
So I guess I could have been running all around, but he wasn't really letting me move too much. Let me just do one more check. One more sweep. Okay. You know, maybe there's a key in there. Oh, don't burn me. And this goes where? Okay, this is back here. All right. Oh, oh. No, 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 I'm not ready. I just wanted to see what that was. God, I thought it was going to have like a cutscene. Just a preloaded him climbing, and I wasn't ready. What's this? Alright, good. Still wish I could have kept the ammo that I had. Because I need a lot of it. Having the extra ammo is nice, but Having more extra ammo is even better. What? Oh, we're back here. No, excuse me. Leon. He really wants to get the hell out of here. <laughs> and I don't blame him. Alright, we're back here. Okay. That's the thing I fell down on. Okay. I think I've covered everything. Nothing's on the... Oops. Nothing's on the map that says... Just double checking. Double checking. Okay. I'm committed to going back upstairs. Now you can get on the ladder, Leon. Did you poop your pants? Oh no, Leon. And I wish it would just take you, when I hit this, I wish it would just take me back to this page. Instead of... the map. I guess, I guess the map is probably used the most, but... I would much like I would like it much more if uh I could choose to say, hey game, um It would be nice. Okay, this is the room I came in from this direction. He jumped from up there. Okay. So I hadn't walked in this direction yet. Okay. Secret classic doom room? Oh. The sound is really good in this game. I'm really happy with this sound. Another reason I couldn't get into the original Resident Evils is because of those awkward camera angles. It's up here, and she's going around a corner, and then you can't see what's around the corner. You just have to send your character blindly around a corner. And then the camera cuts, and it's like in a new angle. It's down low, or it's looking... It's like the, sec it's like the new camera is mounted at that corner, looking down, so now... You know, first you were on the side watching your character come towards you, and now you're behind the character, and... It's just so weird. So will this box adopt things? Oh, fascinating. All right, so let's t get the high-grade gunpowder. And now let's merge the two so I can get some shotgun shells. And then I'll save two spaces. Why did I keep skipping? Does it matter which direction I merge them? Can I make it more powerful? That would make sense. What am I talking about? Only <laughs> gives you three. And load it up. 
sure. Basement. I almost want to load this on the most bottom save data slot because it's the basement. Oh, backpack upgrade. It's hip to be pouch. It is hip to be pouch. You never really cared for the term fanny pack. Just looking around, seeing if there's anything else. It's making me dizzy too. Listen, I know. They're probably more dizzy for you because you don't know when or where or why the camera's going to whack around. And my eye, in my brain already has processed what it wants to do. I want to look that way. I'm going to do it. Huh? Oh. So much for my sense of direction. Okay. I've done some wedding video jobs where these are the areas we had to come through with our equipment. Like, you're not going in with the guests. you got to go through the service entrance. And then they send us into this area where <laughs> no one else is around. There's a million doors to kitchens. and Every surface has got a little bit of stickiness on it. And you don't know what the hell that stickiness is. There's no one around to tell you where exactly to go. We had to deal with that. Um, there's a... Uh, was it at Caesar's Palace? I think it was. They have a top floor with a wedding venue, and it's boring as all get out. But um, people like it because it's surrounded by windows that show the ocean, so the ocean is is nice. What? What? Uh-oh. Oh, Behind you. <gasps> the dogs! But I don't want you to shoot the dogs. I know they're infected. Just leave them alone. And then the girl's gonna come save us? Yeah. Who is that? Stay sharp. There could have been re you could have rehabilitated the dog, Low maybe. Rate. FBI. Sorry. Thank you. For your help. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. Make like a tree and get the hell out of here. You'll notice that a lot of the time I'm making hey, movie, TV, I'm not done talking to you. or music references. I might not even say that I'm referencing something, but a lot of the times I'm referencing something. All right. Um, so thanks for killing a cute little puppy dog in front of me. And yes, it's cute. I don't care if it's deformed and infected. Animals, or as I call them, aminals, are cute. God, I'm, I'm afraid of locking myself out of like causing another cutscene. I don't want to go through any door and then lose the ability to search for something right now. I want to try to follow her, but I, I assume that the door is going to be locked or something. But if it's not locked and I go after her and I call some other cutscene, I'm going to miss going in here. I, I, I mean, I, I'm 99% certain. Oh, a little Mini Cooper. Like an original Mini Cooper. I'm 99% certain that um, red means locked. Please don't open up and take me somewhere that I can't get back. Okay. Alright. So do I try to follow her first or do I go through there? I guess let's go through here first. Uh, 
upper middle. They don't even have floors now. It's just upper middle. All right. Operations room. Okay. The machinery. The boiler room. Oh, now I see. Okay, see, I was missing it, but I caught it now. Police station underground facility with the triggers. I thought the parking garage was going to was going to be one of the levels. Okay. So the card reader and the ladder. Okay. Now that we're in, does it now open it up? Okay. So we'll have two doors over here and one door here. I'm going to do the one door. And I hear growling. Oh no. I don't want to shoot the pupper nutters. Is there an infected kitty cat too? Oh no. Oh. Oh. They're stuck in there. Let them out. Come on. That's animal cruelty. I don't like that. Hmm. Why do these games always have to have animals in them? I get the far cries and the thing in Montana with the hunting. I, I... But not this game. But of course, Resident Evil. It's got the dogs. I know. I know. I know they're in the original. So they have to be in, in this. I get that. I'm just saying I wish they weren't from the very beginning. Don't you get it yet? Don't you get it yet? That's a uh, reference to the Henry Rollins band, Liar. Henry Rollins band's song, Liar. Wait, are we in a morgue now? What the heck is this? Morgue? What the fu- They have a morgue right next to a parking lot? What in the balls? Autopsy record number 53477. Did you see? I think they actually had it on Netflix. There was um, a documentary on what happens to your body physically when you gain weight and you get phys morbidly obese. And they have a cadaver and they got permission from the hospital and from the, the, the patient's family, the deceased's family, to document the whole thing in detail. And they, they show it. They show you cutting them open, pulling the flesh back, pulling the fat out, talking about it. The whole thing doesn't take place in the autopsy room. They they cut to other in information and talking heads and all this stuff, but they show the autopsy when when they cut, cut back to it. They're, they cut back to it. Hey, pun intended. Um, they, they show. They show it all. And I used to watch The Operation. That was the show called The Operation on either TLC or before TLC was a trading spaces marathon type place and my life as a midget or married with whatever blind married blind and no idea who the person is what I don't know whatever name of deceased Justin Hansen one of the Hansen brothers oh you gotta be sick male Caucasian 39 years old so no, uh, the current Hansen would be a little bit younger than that, because when the Hansen... Okay, what... Um, observations. Found dead in jail cell bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Found dead in jail, jail cell. So uh, is that something I gotta pay attention to? Seems like it. Deceased was a known kleptomaniac, incarcerated multiple times. Incredibly, he would steal even while in jail, though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. Steal, so 
I might find a body with something that I need. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. They all open up. What? I can't see their n names. Can I? Sometimes the lighting changes. And I guess this open every single one up. One of these is going to have a dead body that's, you know... Ooh, an alive body. How come this couldn't open up any further? Did I screw something up? No. The the vibrator makes it look a junk a junk. I'm gonna grab one of these things and then a the hand's gonna come out of the other thing. God, Leon that startled me. <laughs> Him going, bah! that startled me. How come these don't open up all the way? Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, they wouldn't have laid him in the bed like that with his clothes on, would they? You're gonna grab me when I grab the flashbang? You're gonna... Let me do... Yeah, in you go. So if you wake up... If you wake up, you're not coming to get me. Actually, I'm closing all of these. I don't know if somebody's gonna come out of any of these. Especially you, La Cucarachas. In you go. There you go. You don't like the light anyway. It's alright. This is not a Plague Tale Innocence. We... And put you back. If it was a Plague Tale Innocence, I could beat you with my flashlight. I assume the last one is gonna do some crazy shit. Or maybe they want you to they want you to believe that it's gonna be the last one. They've set it up that that's the pattern, that as you go down the, the line, the last one had something Scary, so did the second to last one, so... Yeah. I just closed, just put them right back. That's funny. And I gotta climb in there. Is the klepto something in his hand? Oh, oh. Gotta go over here. I can't reach over him. Alright. <gasps> yes! And that key is for upstairs, right? I'm gonna be able to go back upstairs. That's right. You sick son of a bitch. Who else is getting up? That guy over there, okay. See, I try to let their head... Kind of weave into my crosshairs. Fucking hell. <laughs> right in the jaw. Oh, no, mother. So, should I actually, like, aim for the temple specifically, not just in the middle of the face? He's definitely not going to get up this second guy, but the first guy might, because he still has a skull intact. And I'm going to leave this right here to keep something between each each of us. Cool. Glad I got the key. Anything else in here? Does this mean anything? Oh, it's like the dead face all bloated. Like they found it in the... Their faces are all blurred and smeared or something. And yeah, that one head looks like it's bloated like they found it underwater. Already went down here, right? Yep. Okay. And the map doesn't say that I'm le leaving anything behind. No, I don't... Are the dogs going to be out of their cages?
Like, this seems like the perfect room that they've set it up, so... Alright, I saw the dogs, they scared me. But now I've learned that they're in the cage, so they're no threat. So it's okay if I just run through, or even walk through, because they're in their cages, no problem. But then, they're either going to be, be unlocked, or there's going to be another zombie in here. God damn it. You say God damn it like there's a zombie. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, good. I'm glad I caught that. Anything in here? Okay, so I guess not. <clears throat> Those poor dogs. I don't want to leave them down here in the cold... Wet, dark? That's not right. I guess I can shoot them and put them out of their misery. Okay. So it says I'm still searching it. I guess I need to physically walk around the whole thing for it to go blue. So we'll go here. I'm gonna turn this way first to make sure no one's coming around from where I came. From whence I came. Alright. All right, I'm gonna check that door. Let me just look around here. Oh, that door is locked. And this is blocked? Lovely. What's in here, though? Oh! Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. The shadows are so cool on that far back wall there my flashlight hitting the diamond-shaped gate and the the the, the gate uh, casts a shadow on the back wall back there and because Leon's moving even though I'm not moving my I'm not moving my controller he's moving what needs to be oh I see wrong way this way Again, I don't have, like, a desk or anything, so... I'm just sitting this on the mic stand that I use for my films. And I have it leaned all weird, so I can lean it closer to me, but down. Anyway, yeah, so not moving my controller. My brain is programmed to think that I shouldn't see anything move, but he's still doing a little bit of movement, which causes all that shadow action. Equipment Disposal Notice Item to be disposed Key to Patrol Car 7439 Details Bent key no longer usable But can still open the car's doors and trunk With its keyless entry buttons Okay, so this isn't for the gate, I guess Hold on one second.
I'm back. For now. I might have to shut the thing down again. I know I can open it, I just want to try to read it. The Raccoon Den, our clay's finest, hiking and fishing supplies. It shakes, I, I like that it gives you that little sound to let you know something's inside, and it says there's something inside. The key. Message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice. But that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super dangerous, so just don't do it. Anyway, see you at the zoo. Mr. Raccoon out. That'll work at the, um, the photo lab, the dark room. Shit, I don't have enough space for it. Dang it. How's my health? Why would they give me more stuff than I can hold? I guess I could have thrown the flashbang in here. Oh, I need ammo too. Damn it. I hate to do it. But I think I'm going to do it. I know. I thought, it's so stupid you can't just drop it on the ground. For all the realism that goes into the shooting of the zombies, I don't know why. And that's only going to fit one bullet. make shotgun shells. Wait. Oh. Can I combine anything with anything else? I've got two of those. I guess I can drop that. I know it will make other health super powered, but... I need the roll of film. Where's the uh, raccoons used as targets? And we saw another one of those up on a shelf.
What happens if I shoot? Do you think that there's like um a trophy for shooting them? Do they show trophies. Oh, I'll try to remember that that's a, that that's where it is. Let's get the roll of film. I mean, I, I can't imagine that I'm done picking stuff up. I mean, this area area just freaking started. say it's still red because I haven't gotten through here yet I wonder if it was the uh, the vent yeah like these things how do I get down into there Currently searching. Screw it. I guess. I, I guess getting to the car will. Uh, there'll be something in the car for us. So let's look for this cop car. Where are their numbers? They're usually printed on the top, on the roof, or like on the back, right? Okay, two, three. That's only f three digits. And that's the phone number. Oh, on the license plate. So how do I get to it? What? There's no X. Its blade is bent. Okay. Oh, 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 but it'll unlock. Gotta remember to examine things. It'll pr it's probably a beep beep to unlock the uh, trunk. Let's put it on this one. I already have an extension on this one, so let's put it on this one. Or maybe I should put it on this one now. Okay, well, I don't need the key anymore. Because it's got the check mark. Why can't I combine it when I pick it up? I guess it would have to go with a shotgun, because the shotgun goes on your shoulder. The custom part for the Matilda. It allows the gun. All this talk about Matilda. So it can only go on that one. Now I wish I put the extended mag on that one. Unless the extended mag was specifically for Matilda too. Hold on. You don't see me, but I'm back. You don't see me, but I'm back. Let's go to get this thing here. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Both microphone and audio. Or how long has this video been? 
And how much of that was a blue screen? An hour and nine minutes. All right, so I'm sure there's something major coming up. And um, now that I... I wish I just came back here and used the key first, then I wouldn't have had to throw away my plants. Oh my god. But at least I can get more shotgun shells. Oh, I already got them. And no, I can't get them because... Oh, now it takes up two slots. Oh my gosh. That's frustrating. I was hoping it would take up once. <laughs> I forgot that there's things that take up two slots. Is there anything in here that I missed? as I'm searching because I need to get to this door. I'm going to try to go through these dogs things again. Before I do, is there anything I can do here? Oh! Oh. This blend of two different herbs removes toxins, plus it reduces damage taken and guards against poison. At least I can mix that right away. That's good. Oh, and now it's been fully searched. That one plant. That one missing plant. Okay, well that makes me feel better. So it starts completed, so... I guess we go to that door that she ran out of. Now we can go chase after her. Really want to drive the Mini Cooper. Like, uh, like I'm in a Mr. Bean episode. Mr. Bean has a lot of great comedy. Rowan Atkinson, the actor, has a lot of great comedy as Mr. Bean driving the Mini Cooper. Because he actually did, uh, do, like, race driving or stunt driving or something. So a lot of that crazy-ass driving in Mr. Bean, that's him. I can't imagine he's actually driving in the, uh, the episode... Combine! Oh. oh dear. Where he's on top of the car after he bought all that stuff and he can't fit himself in the car because everything else is packed in the car. So he just sits the, the sofa seat that he bought and just put it on the top of the car. Damn. That's so great, you can just put a body there, and it's scary. Because you don't know if or when they're gonna... Nope, wrong one. Oh! Missed the map again. Where? To my right. Oh. I also wish this map kind of rotated in in the direction that I was facing, so like the arrow was always up. I could, like, choose to lock 
And said it choose to unlock it from being locked north or whatever. So this doesn't open. Okay. So we got three jails on cells on each side. Yep, that startled me. I could open it? There's probably something in there that I could use. Uh, I don't trust it. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's somebody in there anyway. Okay. They locked a lot of people up. Every single one is filled. Oh. Our country has locked so many people up. Uh oh. Oh, that doesn't open up everybody, does it? As I was pulling it, I was like, what if that opens everybody's jail cell all at once? Does it say what it is in the icon? No, okay. Anybody in here? No? It doesn't matter. Oh. Hello? Hey. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. Have you been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No. No, there's a few of us. I don't trust this guy. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's of course Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in the station. So either we play nice and help each other out. Or... Shit. It's coming. What? What's coming? Come on. Come on, don't be an ass. And I got rid of my flashbang. But I have a grenade. Fuck out of here. Oh, no. Who is that? It's just me. So we can put that thing away. I, I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. That was her. She transformed. You transformed. You, you wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. Name's Ada. Well, I guess the deal's on. Um, <clears throat> that cutscene almost seems like a. I guess. I guess we'll wait to get out. Ugh, what in the world? <laughs> oh. What in the world? <laughs> um. Oh. <gasps> Crankshaft, that's what I can use. I am going back upstairs. Tool. <gasps> you son of a bitch. I can't pick anything up. Uh, uh, yeah. 
This is ridiculous. You gotta give me more space. Memo. Jail power panel. The power panel is out. Can the person, and once again, I see the item before I see the document related to the item. The power panel is out. Can the person in charge of it please take care of it ASAP? Exclamation point question mark. I assume everyone knows, but since the jail's power panel is old as hell, we're going to need those custom power panel parts no one makes anymore. There should be a few in the generator room. Addendum. I got word that there's only one of those power panel parts in the generating room. generator room. The guy that's here to fix the bell in the clock tower should have another, so someone swipe. I mean, ask him nicely for it, please. Clock tower. Oh, I can't... I, I guess find the power panel parts. So the clock tower is... The way up here, clock tower. Wow, so I gotta go all the way back up to the top. I need to get myself to a box where I can store stuff. Okay, um... If we have to w make our way all the w way back up from down here, um... Mm -mm. I guess, you know, no, I, I, I haven't saved, so let's get to a save point. And hope that nobody comes out. Should be leaving here with a freaking, a freaking key. Um. Do I have to go back down here? <clears throat> oh, no, I've, I fell through the thing, so... Alright, at least there's this. There's this right here. There's this right here. I'm glad it's close by. So, I'll be taking this upstairs. Maybe I'll save one of these, because I got two of them. Can I save just... Oh. Well, it doesn't matter, because there's no... I would need this upstairs, though. Dang it. What should I store? Do I need the ruby right now? Am I going to need the downstairs upstairs? I guess these things kind of come around with me. Some of them seem to come around with me. I move it. Okay, let's quickly get this other thing to store. I'm gonna get the the crankshaft. And once I get the things that I need to take with me elsewhere, that's when I will. Uh, oops, that's when I will save the game and end this video. That's zombie four. I'm innocent. And I, so I guess when I get the power working, I'll hit that big generator thing and that does unlock all of the jail cells. Which, which I'd need to unlock that jail cell to get that guy's key card, but then all those zombies are gonna come out. So my guess is I'm gonna have to shoot all of those zombies in their cells. So 
they don't escape on me. So I will do that when I have to come back. But right now I'm going to save and end the video here. Even though 20 minutes of this video is blue silent screen. I apologize. There's things that are just out of my control. Uh, See, so yeah, we're not getting back upstairs yet. So I'll leave it there. I guess the roll of film I'll leave down here because that's also upstairs. And I only use these upstairs, so we'll store that too. And if it looks like I'm going upstairs real soon, then I can move it. How do I? Do I like hold it? I thought I can move these things. Oh, move square. Oh, oops. Okay. That's where we are, right? Okay, everyone, well, I hope that I'm progressing a little bit more quickly, getting a little bit more done. Um, I'm, I'm remembering to spin things around and examine them, so... We got that. Um, the video, the game has been saved, so I'll end the video here. Thank you for watching. Dan, FPL, first person looter, plays Resident Evil 2, the remake. This is video number three in my series. Take care. Bye-bye.